Who remember the good old days? Either you stop harassing me. Where I will do everything in my power to make sure you end up in jail or worse. Tiwa, Tiwa. Hmm. See all the stress you're making me go through about this police matter. I remember a time where MTV Sugar, Yolo and Rumor Has It came out in the same week. That was the good old day. The web series industry held us here and we liked it. A lot. My first introduction to the web series industry was Gideon. I make a lot of jokes about how the show is about horses because of the name. But I lied. The show is about a man named Pablo and his horse, Gideon. <laughs> okay. Alright, jokes aside, this show opened my mind to more shows. I started reviewing series on YouTube with MTV Sugar and that will forever have a special place in my heart and I bet a lot more people loved it also. Back then when the web series would finish, it would quickly be replaced. When rumor has it finished, it was replaced replaced with skinny girl in transit. When the men's club finished, it was replaced with assistant madams. I did not say all the replacements were perfect. So the question is, what really happened to web series? I noticed after the pandemic, a lot of companies changed and I don't blame them. We all changed also. And I think this was one of the defining factors that affected the web series industry. And it's sad because they actually tried. For instance, in Danny put multiple shows with questionable characters, which was nice, but I wasn't a huge fan of them. On the other side, Red TV could care less. They did not even post anything. And I won't lie, Netflix was one of the factors. They came in with big guns and a lot of money and made people think twice about posting on YouTube. Why would I share my content here for free when I can get paid for more? Now we have the men's club leaving their YouTube home to Prime Video and I will say this, after my experience with Prime, I would avoid anything on that platform. Those guys really dealt with me, like I, I'm scared. <laughs> it's sad man, like what really happened to web series? We had thrillers, love, comedy, and a lot of drama. I don't know for you, but the last time we did thriller was Blackberry Babes. That movie has it all. You want me to give you a tilt? Uh, no problem if you... <laughs> if you want me to give you a tilt, no problem. And after that, I don't think anything has really scared me. But rumor has it did. After the first season, I said to myself, they will never top this. Something is missing, Udoka. I was right. <laughs> Best friends in the world should not work in any spectrum, but it works for the people who watch it. They really hit the Gen Z space. Like those guys have made more universes that watching it now feels like you missed out on so much. I don't bet a lot of you watching me now don't even know about this show. They've been in secondary school for years. My gosh. Yulu was a show I followed. I watched it in my final year mostly as a means to tell my mind that I was not hungry. And I loved all the characters, especially Drogba. MTV Sugar South Africa made me cry. I will not lie. I did a whole video essay on how much I loved it and how I wanted you guys to watch it. I was that invested. Like literally, The Men's Club is a show about bros. Like the girls should hate it, but they don't. And I think it's because they are trying to understand the mind of men. And that's bad because Aminu is an alien. Literally, he has money and he's single. And she loves him and he doesn't love her back. Is that not an alien to you? I see that Madame started well, then he went off a cliff. It was everything we asked for if Nigerians made sci-fi movies. Schooled? Never watched it, I'm sorry. Love like this? Three episodes. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, we are trying, and most of these shows, I know you guys loved it, but it did not just hit home for me. I miss the good old days, and maybe that's my problem. I shouldn't miss the good old days, and I should strive to look for the future. What do you think? Bye. <laughs>